Rub up your engines! Right here, I have a brand new Camry a guy just bought. Why do people buy them? What do they have in them? What are you gonna find out? Now, anybody who knows anything about cars knows Camrys can last a long time, but people say, oh, they're boring, I don't want a boring Camry. Well, let's see. They really don't look boring anymore. They really up their designs. Wheels, this new one, he averages about 37, the top's about 40. Plenty of power and great gas mods and it has tried and true technology first of all it has a real key ah and under the hood it has a four-cylinder inline engine connected to an automatic transmission that is not a cvt it is not one of those cvts that shift weird feel weird it is an eight-speed transmission an actual automatic transmission now in the past when toyota started putting multi-speed automatics some people whined I don't like the way it feels. They go for gas mileage, yes. And the earlier ones, sometimes they'd hunt between gears. We'll see how this one goes, but all the newer ones that I've tried out, they don't have the hunting problem that the old one does. Understand one thing about Toyota. They build something and they gradually work at perfection. They've been making Camrys a long time. Time. They see something's wrong, they fix it. The original Camrys, yes, they were kind of ugly. They did run forever. They tried different variants when they tried those Lyros that were kind of fancy ones. Some of them were convertibles. But their basic four-door transportation car has just basically gotten better and better as time goes on. They find problems, they perfect them. They're not like the Americans who, well, that model didn't work, let's throw that away, let's try something else. No, they have a different philosophy in Japan. They want to gradually improve how they make things. Now granted in the past, they weren't much on style. Well, they certainly have gone way past that and their style has changed immensely. Nice interior, black and chrome. And of course, it's a four door. Plenty of room in the back. And at the same time, they have a really good combo of rideability and handling. Some people who really want handling, yeah, you wouldn't buy this. You'd buy the Camry TRD. It's got a much stiffer suspension. Corners like a scalded ape. I mean, they really are fun to drive. But I took my wife on a ride in a TRD. She hated it. And she's driving a 20-year-old Lexus. She likes a nice, smooth ride. I take her for rides in regular Camrys. She loves it. It's just that the TRD has a really set-up suspension system so you can zoom around like a lunatic. That's not Toyota's market with this Camry. <laughs> it's for people who want a nice four-door car that can run forever. I see them all the time. Five, six, seven hundred thousand miles on. Change your oil every 5,000 miles. These things will generally last indefinitely this 2.5 liter engine is excellent of course it's got a timing chain on it and the small problems that toyota had ages ago like my grandson's 2007 camry that's got that horrible four cylinder engine that they made for a few years that burnt oil like mad that's way in the past these aren't oil burners and as we go inside start her up i notice they've improved their interface here it used to be it sat up too high. Now, from where I sit, it doesn't block the window at all. It's more integrated. I would like it a little bit lower myself. I would have designed it a little bit lower, but that's what Toyota's doing. Fancy automatic transmission. You can go eco mode, normal mode, sport. Or if you want, you can shift it yourself. Very easy to use. And since it has an actual automatic transmission, you are actually shifting gears. This isn't a CVT that's pretending to shift gears to the marvels of modern computers and hydraulics. This is actually shifting gears. We'll try it out later. Now the seats are full leather, but they're very comfortable. And this stuff tends to last quite some time. I really like the combination because nothing wears like fabric. So the stuff you're sitting on, is really comfortable but it's still got a leather look to it and i personally kind of like this it doesn't have a sunroof because i personally think sunroofs are the dumbest thing on earth what do you want a sunroof for it just gets heat in and anyways with a solid roof you're safer that's part of the strength of the vehicle a solid roof i would rather have a solid roof over my head than some stupid sunroof that might shatter if something bad happens you can see it's got the automatic high beams you can turn the traction control off if you want. Simple setup, heating and air conditioning. 
I hate when they have all this stuff hidden up here on the computer where you gotta scroll through a bunch of crap to get the heat or the AC on. This to me makes more sense. There's the defrost. Automatic. You can set the temperatures very simply. Turn it off if you want. Turn it on again. Then when you change the speed, you just push the button here. You're not pushing your fingers all over. Much easier to operate. So let's take it for a spin. As smooth as can be. Decent backup camera, nothing outrageous but yeah it's a decent camera typical camry smooth just like a dream like i say these don't hunt for gears and this is just a normal it's not a trd but you want to zoom around there's another one <laughs> they're everywhere same color too <laughs> so you can get 40 miles a gallon on a highway and it's getting 37 around the city with a regular transmission you don't have to sacrifice power and smoothness for a CVT, this is power and smoothness, and it's an actual automatic, like I said. And as we go down the road, we'll try the old brakes. The ABS works phenomenal. And here we go to our little drag strip. We're almost there. Makes a nice throaty sound, too. It's not dull like the old cameras leaves a little bit of sound and nobody's behind us so we can come to a stop and we'll turn the traction control off and here we go smooth shifting listen to it you can barely feel the shift like I said these new multi-speed transmissions Toyota has they got most of the bugs out of them but just for giggles Let's put it manual shifting. Here we are in second gear. Ooh, that was pretty fast. Downshift. Hey, it downshifts quick. Look at that. Hey, I gotta say, the manual is not like the older ones. They're kind of a time lag. This thing is crisp. It shifts manually smooth. Now, when it's an automatic, yeah, it shifts perfectly smooth then. But if you want to have a little sporty fun, just put it in a manual shifting. And you can see it's got lane departure because, see it's warning us. Warning, warning, do not drive over the yellow line. Warning, warning. Well, I'm getting older, maybe I need that now, I don't know. Then again, my wife said I needed it years ago. Well, in my defense, it isn't that easy to drive fast, film, talk, and think at the same time without running into something. <laughs> and as we come to a stop, Nice and smooth. And look, it's not turning itself off. I love that. I hate that auto start-stop. I find it annoying, and I think Toyota understands that many Americans find it annoying, so this doesn't have it. I love that. Most of them you can turn them off by pushing the button, but you gotta keep pushing the stupid button. We have it in eco mode. Let's see what that does. I don't know, it doesn't seem eco to me. It's still got plenty of pickup. <laughs> Some of those eco modes are slow, hey? It didn't slow it down one iota. It's got the modern conveniences right there. It's telling you the speed limit. And unfortunately, you can also see it from the passenger side, so my wife would see how fast I was going over the limit. Well, you can't have everything. Usually the heads-up display, this doesn't have it. You can't see from that side, so I would rather have a heads-up display that has a speed limit on the windshield where I can see it and my wife can't. Now, even though this isn't the Camry TRD with the really trick suspension, this thing still is fun to drive in the twisties. It still has pretty crisp handling, no particular over or under steer. Of course, it's beeping at me now because I'm not using the turn signal while I'm playing around. Now watch, I'll put the turn signal on. Now it won't beep because it knows I have my turn signal on. So I guess that system won't help those crazy people that are driving down the highway with their turn signal all the time because it won't beep at them if they go over the line because they have their turn signal on. So machines can't keep fools from themselves. <laughs> Realize that. They're not miracles. Fools will still continue being fools whether computers are advising them or not. So there you have it, a 2022 Camry. Now, the owner traded in a Mustang that had 14,000 miles. Not because the Mustang was falling apart, but because he didn't like 13 miles a gallon anymore. And he's getting <laughs> almost 40 on this thing. And he says, this is just as much fun to drive around. It really handles quite well. And I do have to say, for all the people that whined about Toyota multi-speed automatic transmissions, hunting for gears and not feeling right, 
this feels perfect. Whether it's by itself, extremely smooth, or putting it in manual and really zooming it. That's what impressed me because the older ones, you'd shift them up and down manually, there'd be a little bit of a wait, sometimes even a second, before it'd go up or down in gear, felt sloshy. This didn't feel sloshy, because realize, this is not a CVT transmission. It isn't doing fake gear changes, because CVTs don't have gears. It is changing actual gears. It's going five, six, six, five, four, whatever. It says on the dash what it is, but it actually works like most things Toyota. It doesn't look boring. It doesn't drive boring. And really, he's got 30 grand into this thing. The average car is now 49 grand for a new one. Pretty good deal if you ask me. I doubt as if that Mustang is gonna be rolling down the road 10, 15 years from now. <laughs> but this thing certainly will be, as long as nobody runs into the thing. So if you never wanna miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.